My name's Lee Fuller. Um, we farm in a little town called Kalunga, which is in the mid-north of South Australia. Um, I farm there with my uh, father and my uncle, and um, it's, a, it's a mixed farm of um, probably 80% cropping and 20% sheep. Um, of that cropping, um, we, we plant about uh, 3,400 hectares a year, and um, and also with the uh, with the sheep, it's just a trade sheep operation. We just buy and sell. Um, the rainfall um, is about 400 mils a year, or 285 mils for the growing season. Um, and the crops that we grow are wheat, barley, canola, uh, beans, lentils, and vetch for pasture. Um, some of the challenges on the farm um, would be probably staying ahead of the game and staying um, profitable. Um, I think we're seeing now that um, the value of our commodities are, are sort of plateaued or, or not increasing at the rate of um, what some of their costs are. So I guess trying to stay profitable um, is probably a challenge. Um, trying to grow the business can be, can be a challenge at times. Um, land prices at the moment um, are moving uh, north pretty quickly um, and trying to trying to grow the business is um, can be hard at times I suppose one of the other opportunities if, if we can't um, increase our, um, our holding by buying land we're trying to um, improve its efficiencies and, and output and um, we've seen that this year uh, we've actually had a refinator out um, recently to try and open up a bit more country um, stuff that um, is, was unarable and, and we couldn't work it is, is now um, we can actually put a time through it and, and um, grow a crop on it which has um, which has made some um, unproductive land into some into some reasonably productive land so initially we found out that we had a acidity problem by a simple soil test done by our agronomist um, the soil test was initially to test for nitrogen and phosphorus, but um, there was a um, pH component in there. And um, the soil test came back with a pH of between four and four and a half, um, which um, initially we thought most of our country would be neutral to alkaline, just based on um, we've got a lot of areas of free lime and, um, and some limestone ridges. Um, that has quite high in pH, but um, after the soil test, we realised that um, we have got an issue, and, and at those sort of levels, at four, four and a half, um, can really impact on productivity and, and obviously profitability. So PA was probably the only um, option for us going forward to tackle the problem. To actually lime um, is is quite expensive. Um, so to lift, just to give you an example, to lift um, one unit of um, pH. Um, costs about um, $130 a hectare. Um, so we figured that um, the only solution was to do it um, by variable rating it. Um, so the, the payback really came from using um, uh, saving in the variable costs. So using less lime. Um, so I guess the makeup um, of the cost of, of liming is, is the actual product. Um, is the freight component, which is which is a large um, cost of of, uh, of liming. Um, it's also the time, um, repairs and maintenance, depreciation on on plant machinery, and also um, we're finding we're getting uh, improved in our in our yield and and probably um, less um, weed um, weed issues. We've we've got um, where we're finding acidity. Um, we've got some ryegrass growing and um, obviously the crop uh, isn't growing as well where we've got uh, low pH and um, and um, the ryegrass seems to grow anywhere and, and if we can fix that uh, pH issue we've, um, we've got a more competitive um, uh, crop to outcompete the ryegrass so that's probably one area that we're, um, we're seeing that we're, we're improving. Um, I guess initially when we started this journey, we were spreading um, the paddocks that we believe had um, low pHs and the paddock that we recently spread, um, no, we, we didn't think there'd be an issue and, and, um, and most of the paddock isn't an issue. It's, um, a lot of it is above six, um, six units in pH, but um, 
Um, I guess by running the various machine over it, we can distinguish, distinguish um, which areas um, we can target and, yeah, and, and, and target um, the rates that it needs. Um, so there, there's some areas that, that may need um, four or five tonne of line and then there's some areas that um, may only need um, two to three tonne. But um, so that's a huge saving for us and um, that's why we think that um, um, using PH, PA or variable rating, the, uh, the lime is the only option. So I guess... Um, that's one reason why we decided to to um, to variable rate our lime is because we generally we had most of the plant machinery that we needed. We had um, a spreader, a reasonably new spreader that we could that was capable of variable rating. Um, we've got a reasonably big loader that we can um, load, uh, load bulk, bulk products um, reasonably quickly in the paddock. So. Um, we probably didn't need to invest too much in, in much plant machinery initially. Um, the only real cost um, um, that we do incur um, is the contracting cost of getting the, the various machine run over the, over the paddock um, to map the pH. Um, and that's probably the only contracting cost that we have. Um, and then obviously other, the other costs is um, the freight, the product, um, and, and the spreading costs. Uh, to make it all happen, yeah, we do have a team around us. Um, we have our agronomist who, who knows um, um, our farm relatively well and, and knows areas um, that, that need, um, need work. Um, we also have, um, we use farm works to do the, um, the prescriptions. So um, we use support um, um, based um, on the FarmWorks program to, to help um, create the prescriptions. Um, and, um, but generally we, we try and do most of the work ourselves, the spreading, the freight um, and the loading. We've certainly had some challenges or some problems. Um, There's not too many uh, truck mounted uh, bridal spreaders about. So that was a bit of a challenge in, in setting that up. Um, There's a lot of things, um, niggles with a spreader initially that we had we had to get sorted out and um, and that took some time and and some and um, some challenging um, but um, we um, yeah we had to sort of nut it out ourselves with our agronomist um, um, also been using um, three different maps to come up with a um, a phosphorus prescription at seeding time um, so we've been using um, pH data um, NDVI um, data plus um, yield data and, and overlaying those three layers to come up with a, uh, a P prescription at seeding time. And basically that's just targeting um, um, more phosphorus in areas of um, generally high pH or, or um, low biomass areas um, um, that were picked up on the NDVIs. Uh, one thing that we consider when we're we're looking at any precision ag um, technology on our farm, um, we're probably quite often not the pioneers of of um, some of the precision ag um, technologies that technologies that um, are available. Um, quite often we'll sit back and and sort of see what um, see what's working and what isn't working. I, I just think we need to be careful. There's so many different tools there out there for farmers to use, um, and and sometimes, you know, there's, there's some feel goods about um, using precision ag, um, but um, one thing we try and do is is analyse the benefits of that precision ag and um, and work out if it's going to work for us on our farm, um, and that's. Quite often, it's hard to quantify the um, the return on that investment, but um, I think you need to do some figures um, just to to try and work out whether it's going to work for you. Because um, there's no point investing in in um, new technology if it's not going to um, um, have a return or improve um, the farm in some way. Uh, yeah, it's hard to put numbers on some of these things. Like we <clears throat> because we're I suppose being farmers, everything's so variable with the weather, the, the cost, the, um, um, you know, management has a, has a huge impact. So, you know, it's, it's hard to quantify the, the output on some of this stuff, but 
yeah, I mean, you've got to try and run some sort of numbers. Probably, I, I guess we're, we're trying to adopt new technology, but we're reasonably conservative as well.